Hey, Virgo. Hey, Virgo. How you doing? She's going to bit me one of these days. I am. It's coming real close because I'm in the middle of something and she hits the go button and I have to stop what I'm saying. She thinks it's cute. See how she's over here laughing? I do. All fun and games until paybacks come along. You won't touch the computer. What are you talking about? Hey, Jay. I didn't say I didn't say it was gonna be on the computer. Oh. What's our card of the day, ma'am? It is the red native, ma'am. It's a really amazing card. It's about trusting what spirit has given you inside of you. The many generations of knowledge that is in your DNA and your cells and your lineage in oh, every cell that you so have. So you mean so you mean that this card actually is about being so connected with spirit that you You're can connected go, to everything else. So that you could oh. go into a meditation and come out with the knowledge that you need from your ancestors or whatever. Yeah. Without having to go do a bunch of research on How do you think it? I knew 10 years ago that spirit was more interested in the, in the energy coming from your heart than your head? That was 10 years ago before Greg Braden actually proved it. Oh, gee, I went inside. Because you were trying to be a trendsetter. No, I wasn't trying. Trust you weren't me. trying to be a twin. Fuck no. <laughs> God. Y'all stubborn. But this is about not only going inside and getting that eternal knowledge. And when you know you have it, you know you have it. You'll stand yes. up for it and people will call you crazy and demonic and stupid and all kinds of shit. Yes. But you're still going to stand in your truth. And it's about bringing that truth. Not the ego truth, but the divine knowledge truth. The eternal knowledge truth. And we all have that within us. And this is a reminder that this is what we need to be doing. Quit worrying about all what the every Tom, Dick, and Harry is doing with their whatever, whatever. Worry about the divine. And what it can do for you. Yes. You go first this time. Me go first. Yeah, after the last one, Jill. I'm going to sit and drink some of my coffee. <laughs> Shit. See the abuse I put up with here, right? See that? All right. So in our Moonology deck today, we got the new moon in Cancer for you, Virgos, okay? And it says that you and your loved ones are safe, okay? Now, the fairies, they have a little bit more to say. They have parenting and children. So whatever is going on, The fairies are saying to pay attention to this. I'm trying to get the glare off of the card. There we go. Okay. And then they also say positive expectations. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So when I come down here and there is a whole lot there's a whole lot going on. Okay. And I'm just going to put... I, I'm just going to lump all of these cards together. Okay. So we've got the Four of Wands upside down. The Three of Swords. The Six of Cups upside down. And the Ace of Cups upside down. Somebody is not very happy. And it's pertaining to the children. I'm not sure if... It's pertaining to a whole home situation. Yes. I'm not sure if there's something that is going on that shouldn't be. Or if maybe it's a case where the children were removed from the home for some type of a situation. We do have the Eight of Wands. It's over here upside down. Something stagnant. Yeah, eh, eh. either that or things aren't moving as quickly as they should be. Um, and we got the Page of Swords. It's upside down, too. So this child has really been acting out. We got the Five of Swords upside down. So we're looking at a victory at all costs that turned into a... Defeat. Yes. Everybody lost. 
We got the hermit upside down. So somebody didn't take time to look at the whole situation and come out with a fully informed decision. And then we got celebrations, which kind of just really doesn't fit in the whole spread with the emperor. Five of Pentacles, Upside Down, Knight of Cups, something's coming in quickly, Three of Wands, somebody's, somebody's making some changes in their perspective on things to get this celebration. Somebody's been an ass. That's a reunion card too. Yeah. I also want to I also want to say somebody from the military it's coming home, but not nearly as fast as they want to. That's nice. That's for somebody special. That is for somebody special. That just popped out, eh? Yes. That yes. happened. It's gonna... Yeah, okay. So now we got the Two of Cups. The whole energy just shifted in this. Alright. Oh, that's a soulmate. That explains it. Yes. <clears throat> Yes, lots of giving with the Four of Pentacles upside down, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, celebrations. Yeah, somebody's coming home and there's going to be a big party. Y'all, I'm not sure what's going on with this one with the kids, if that's part of this. Kids first. Right. If that's, it, 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 it kind of feels like it's two separate reads, okay? But. We do have positive expectations. That's good. Parenting and children. Make sure that, you know, make sure that the children come first. Okay. And then you and your loved ones are safe. Okay. I'm going to leave Boy, that'd Alice be a, with that'd that. That'd be a nice card. I'd take that card right now. You and your loved ones are safe? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Message from the universe. Reminder. You are a celestial being. All right. What we do right here and right now will echo throughout the universe. All right. This is a reminder. You have that knowledge. You are a celestial being. You need to share that knowledge in any situation. You have it within you. That's a reminder. Okay, well, hmm. Somebody didn't get their wish. And all these swords are upside down. I got the same thing with the child she's got. But I got an upside down king of swords on this, which is... Alright. I'm just going to tell you that somebody did some bad shit here. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's the other person. But they're not taking any responsibility for it. Um, but they aren't going to be able to get out of it. Whatever's going on here, um, might be a Libra you're playing with, I don't know. 
but this is definitely my Libra's energy coming through. Ugh. Anyway, um, somebody's doing some hinky shit. Some lying, deceiting. Keeping somebody busy. Distracted in their head. All right. We have more stuck energy here. Somebody feels stuck. I'm almost feeling a dark night of the soul. What's all this heavy energy? I mean... Is everybody somebody, like, being crazy? Okay. Somebody needs to change their idea on what love is. They've been getting the message that they should change, that there's something wrong with the way um, that they're doing things. So they know they're doing bad things, but it's like they're a fool. And they're not taking any responsibility for it. Um, I don't know if that's you, Virgo. Did I? I don't know if I said that either. Yeah, somebody has empress energy here. That's why judgment's here. And there's also something that's not being seen. So I can tell you this, uh, Virgo. <laughs> Smokes. Yeah, this energy laying out here, if this is yours, uh, we need it to flip something. If this is somebody you're dealing with, you need to flip something. <laughs> but I got the upside down page too. Almost yeah. everything is upside down here, Virgo. Did you? And I think it's something to do with what you value, what you think is important. Oh, it's one of those lessons. Yeah. God damn it. Those suck, guys. They really do. Everything that you're placing monetary value on, that's all the wrong things, okay? The things that hold the most value are your family, your friends, the things that are your significant others. Here. Yes. The things that are recorded here. The way that you treated the homeless person when you came out of the store. You can't take money with you when you go. All you can take is what's in your heart. Remember that. So, I see a lot of energy clearing going on, honestly, I do. That is a good thing. Especially, yeah, oh, thing. there's an Ace of Cups. Good deal. There's a Knight of Pentacles, so you got good things coming. Yeah, and we got the Eight of Wands, sort of it's fast good. moving, too. And yeah, there's good things coming. <laughs> yes, I'm stopping right there. I got yes. the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. But truth is coming through. First thing you need to do is empty those cups of this shit, man. Because I, you know, I don't know who's doing what. I can't tell you. I kind of feel like it's a, a feminine energy, though. That's kind of in the wrong kind of mindset here. Um, 
trying to get herself straight here. Not quite understanding what it is. It, what it is is she's not understanding she's empress. Mm. Oh, so she's questioning her self-worth? Yeah, and if you carry that empress energy and you're supposed to be empress, guess what? The universe is going to kick your ass until you get it. It's just the way it is. If you devalue yourself in any way because of who you are, the universe is going to make sure at the end of it. You have nothing left to do but value yourself. Yep. Basically. So So basically you're basically gonna have nowhere to go kick but up. Ass. Basically what's going on is you are a kick ass warrior of truth. Now, notice I didn't say light or dark. I said warrior of truth. Mm -hmm. And you're not hear hearing your call. Um, I think spirit wants you to hear your call. And that's the message I'm getting for... That was two earth signs now with that same kind of message. Maybe, maybe it's time for the earth signs, signs to step up. Maybe it's their turn. You know, the water signs were having a hell of a time not too long ago. Before that, it was the fire signs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the water signs started getting it. Scorpio took off like crazy. Oh, God, yeah. Scorpio uh, still is. Okay. I mean, we're all so, balancing shit. So maybe it's time for the earth signs Clear that shit. Let's shine. We got the magician upside down, the queen of swords upside down, the world right side up, and the eight of wands coming through. These energies are going to change. They're going to shift. You may not like being on the receiving end of the queen of swords in her you turmoil You don't want to be state, on the giving end of that either, but this, especially with that. But this upside down magician is nothing but a trickster these two okay. these two together are manifesting some mayhem yep. all right these two together are manifesting some mayhem and the world's in the middle of it yep time to stop that shit <laughs> yep if you don't want your world messed up turn that queen right side up guys yeah turn the queen right side up well sometimes that queen is handy though yeah, I, i'm just saying but right now, I guess her energy is probably not good because of the manifestation that's going on with those earth signs right now. And I'm getting a reminder every time that right now the earth signs, because before it was really heavy in the fire signs manifesting, watch your thoughts, watch your thoughts. Now it's the, earth, now signs. It's the earth signs, watch your thoughts, you're manifesting that shit. Yep. All right. So you got this. All right, guys. Be blessed. Be blessed be. Namaste. Namaste.